Okay, now this is just a short movie clip of um, our refurbishment work to the reed beds. Um, we've had uh, quite some problems because the liner has become perforated. I'll just try to show you some of the some of the details of this. As you can see here, there's uh, much perforating of the liner, and um, we want to uh, try to replace the liner. It's about 15 years old. Um, it didn't have an overlay or an underlay on it, um, and um, reeds have grown through it, everything. So, so this is what we're doing. Um, I'll just give you a quick look around at what's happening here. As you can see, the growing media has been stacked up to one side. Now, I don't know if you can see, you should be able to see, underneath there there's a pipe. That's the bypass pipe, which is taking effluent, uh, bypassing this bed, um, so that the other beds can continue to work while we work on this bed. There's the sand there, uh, at the beginning of the, the bypass there. In the background there you can see part of the distribution system at the top of the reef bed. Um, and over here is the stone uh, for the first um, level. Um, you can see here the, the part of the drainage pipe. Um, and uh, uh, this is basically what we're doing. We've shoveled out the majority of the uh, media from the from the reed bed and are now working on that. Um, there's some of our uh, staff, volunteers, workers here are, are just derooting some of the um, soil that's below the um, the, the uh, liner so that you can uh, we've, we've got a good start we're going to put um, tarpauling in below the liner as well as uh, an underlay and an overlay just to uh, make sure that the the uh, bed the um, roots any roots that are coming through are deflected rather than rather than attempt to grow through the liner here is the one of the lower reed beds. This one still needs to be worked on, as you can see, it's full of finger metal.